Hi, I'm Toby Negrin. I'm the Chief Product Officer here at the Wikimedia Foundation. My favorite Wikipedia article is the list of sports idioms. And I'm a particular fan of, let's put some points on the board. We tend to think of our work as divided into, into several areas. The first area is tools for existing editors. And so that would be things like community tech, our work on talk pages, our work on visual editor, work on content translation. These are the tools that existing editors use to create the content that makes Wikipedia. We also have some people working on tools for new editors. And I think the most prime, the best example of this is the growth team that's actually figuring out new ways for new people to start getting involved in projects with new forms of editing. Not every edit has to be in a long form article. And the last general area is tools for readers. Um, Wikipedia is, is, is a site that's used by billions of people all over the planet. So it's really important to make sure that the great content that the editors create is displayed in a way that's both aligned with our values, but also gives people the information that they need. I'm really excited by the growth work. Um, I think figuring out ways to make the editing experience um, more comprehensible to newcomers is really exciting. And we're starting to see, I think that's deployed on 30 wikis now. We've just deployed it on some of the larger wikis. We're really excited about the feedback and we think that this can be a real gateway into bringing new people into the projects. Of course, we also have to make sure that the existing editors and moderators are, are have the support they need. And I think here our work on IP masking is something that has, has really just started and I know it's been a bit controversial, but if we can make these moderation tools better for everybody, then we can really reduce the amount of time that our, editor, our editors speak on moderating content and they can focus on creating it. So probably the biggest new thing this year is, is um, we're calling the pilots. We've already talked about how equitable growth is a goal of the foundation, but we also know that, that particularly for newer communities, we don't really have the recipe. We know that we need to do it with our communities, but what we've done is we've set up three different small projects. Um, one is around new users, one is around movement organizers, and one is around new form factors that we're going to um, that we're going to work on and we're going to see actually what works and take blends of them and incorporate them in our strategy moving forward one of the things that's new is is a focus on movement organizers in and in a new team called the campaigns team we've known for a long time that um, the unsung heroes of the movement are people who work in 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 helping people edit working with organizations who want their content to be in Wikipedia, things of that nature. And, and it must be said that, that, that we probably haven't supported these people as well as we might. So we started out with a lot of research last year, and this year we hope to, we we're putting that research into play by improving the tools that we're creating for movement organizers. I think another change in the product department is really um, focusing it on on our technical platform and acknowledging that if we're going to bring in new developers into the movement we actually have to update our technical infrastructure and that's starting out with with a change in our presentation um, technology from a homegrown um, system that's five or six years old to a new open source um, platform called view.js and this is going to make it much more inviting for developers all over the world to start participating in building out the encyclopedia as well as running content for it. So one of the things that we haven't done such a great job of, of talking about is our support for the existing site and the existing platform. Wikipedia and Wikimedia are sites used by more than 250,000 editors every month more than a billion people and 
these folks require a lot of support. The internet is not a static place. And so we're continuing having to update our experiences to match the expectation, just general internet users. And so a few examples. Um, we're continuing with our work on desktop refresh. Our content is amazing, beloved throughout the world. We're now updating the default reading experience to make things a little bit cleaner, a little bit more in line with current standards, and a little bit more readable. We're continuing to work on talk pages um, to make them easier to use, both for newcomers and for existing editors. The work on community tech is continuing, where we have users propose projects and then on, vote on them, and we take the top 10, and we build those. And finally, we're continuing to work on some of our translation, um, on some of our translation experiences, like content translation, we're making it work better on mobile. We've already seen great, great uptake in some of our Indic language communities, and we're gonna continue on that as well.